Under her desk looks like a little bit of cable spaghetti. Oh my God, the nostalgia comes back. It means I gotta give this setup a nine out of 10. My name is Mitchell and you are watching the Autonomous Desk Setup Review Series. If you guys wanna have your desk setup reviewed here on our YouTube channel, go ahead, tag us and give us a follow on Instagram and let's hop in. First on this list is Billy. Billy is a content creator from Toronto and he's using his autonomous smart desk core as well as his ergo chair too as a place to both film and edit and create in. Now, this is all powered from an Alienware R11 and two large 27 inch monitors flanking either side on his desk. Now this is accompanied by some really nice Logitech MX Master peripherals. He's using both a Logitech MX Master mouse and keyboard. And if you guys didn't know, these accessories use one unified dongle so that you can have low latency performance for both your mouse and keyboard wirelessly. Now for filming and studio gear, Billy is using a pair of RGB LED panels that he has reflecting off of his wall along with his Sony A6100. Because the walls of his room are white, he's using them as just one big bounce so that he can bounce whatever color his RGB panels are off the wall to give him really soft, becoming lighting. Now with the Sony A6000, this is a totally fine camera for this environment. And because he's using these two large LED panels to light his room, he can make sure that he has enough light for that slightly older crop sensor camera. And he's able to create content without any kind of hurt or hiccup in low light performance with the camera. Lighting when filming is obviously one of the most important things. And it's awesome to see him using his white walls in such a creative way. Now, if I had any feedback for Billy, it would be just to maybe have some more eye level lighting, maybe some in front of the monitor lighting as well as behind monitor lighting, maybe kind of a floor lamp or something like that. But overall, cable management is great. He has a decent amount of ambient lighting. He has some really cool RGB lighting to kind of set the mood. Cables are clean. His desk hole and hold like setup is really, really tidy and really, really function oriented. And that means I gotta give this setup a nine out of 10. Our next desk setup comes from San Francisco, California by the way of Jen. Now Jen is using her desk to both stream Valorant on Twitch as well as working from home. And I have to say that she has a nice assortment of lighting and I really like all of her accessories. Now Jen is a bit of a peripheral junkie. Now Jen is using the glorious Model O wireless gaming mouse with RGB lighting to fit the rest of her aesthetic. And for a keyboard, Jen has tested a variety of custom built with a variety of different switches, mechanical keyboards. Now for lighting, Jen is using a combination of a colo light, some ambient RGB light strips, and then a variety of different neon signs. And this is kind of where I got a nitpick with her because if she's streaming or planning on doing any recording for YouTube, you gotta have more in the way of video specific lighting. I would maybe like to see some RGB panels or some soft boxes in the room specifically for when she needs to record YouTube videos or more long form videos, or she could just make do with a bunch more ambient eye level lighting to give her that soft look. Because right now she seems just to be using a ring light, which is totally fine, but ring lights definitely can get limiting. Because I got a nitpick with the lighting, I gotta take a couple of points off with this desk setup and I give it a seven and a half out of 10. If this was just a purely gaming from home setup, maybe I'd mark it a little bit higher, but because it needs to fill double duty, you gotta add more lights. Number three on our list is a little bit different because Taylor Jordan is a techno DJ and music producer, a streamer, as well as someone that works from home coming out of Los Angeles, California. Now Jordan's setup starts with an autonomous Ergo Chair Pro Plus and a Smart Desk Pro. And on the Smart Desk Pro, she's got a triple monitor setup along with two studio monitors for when she's mixing and making music. 
Now in front of Taylor's desk, she has a nano leaf and then around the rest of her room, she's got some video centric lights along with some RGB light strips that she can control and set the mood. Now, unfortunately, because this is a multi-role desk for not only streaming, gaming, working from home and making music, under her desk looks like a little bit of cable spaghetti. And this is where I gotta knock points off. Now, while I understand that she's using this space for a variety of activities, you gotta get that cable management under control, especially with a desk that's gonna move up and down. It's really, really important to get your cable situation tidied away, maybe some under the desk cable management. And that's ultimately why I gotta give this setup a six and a half. Before the last one, I wanna remind everyone to go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you want your desk to be featured here on our YouTube channel, go ahead and give us a follow and tag us on Instagram and let's get to number four. Now, Juan Diaz is the last one on this list and Juan is using both a smart desk core as well as an autonomous smart desk corner. And for anyone that has more room in their office and maybe they need to film on that as well, the smart desk corner is a great option. Personally, when I have to film my YouTube videos from my channel, I'm constantly having to raise or lower my tripod depending upon what I want to film and where I have my backdrop set up. But with a smart desk corner, because it has a larger surface area, if you're a content creator that's got a corner in their bedroom that they want to film in, you can have part of this desk set up for your work area and then have the rest of it set up as a place to film. And it's going to make filming for you a lot easier. Now let's get into some of the accessories and components that he's using. It's impossible for us to talk about peripherals and Juan without talking about his collection of custom built mechanical keyboards that he has on display next to his desk, along with a vintage Xbox 360. And oh my God, the nostalgia comes back. Probably one of my favorite parts about this corner of his desk, other than the Xbox 360, which I begged my parents for, is the lighting that he has to go ahead and illuminate and showcase all of these mechanical keyboards. It's great as not only eye level lighting, but it really showcases his collection of custom built keyboards, which he's obviously really passionate about. Now this office space for him has a lot of lighting. It's got both RGB as well as white lighting. It's got a fair amount of lighting at eye level. He's got some lighting behind his monitors. I would like to see maybe some more lighting in front of his monitors just to offer some more eye relief. Overall though, he has a pretty complete setup and other than lighting and maybe some more video specific lighting, I gotta give this setup a seven and a half out of 10 just because of how awesome some of the peripherals that he has on display are and the way he uses lighting, not only to light the room, but to showcase some of these products. Awesome job. Now, if you guys want your setup to be featured on our YouTube channel, tag us and give us a follow on Instagram. And as always, make sure you hit the subscribe button with notifications so you know when our newest video drops. Until next time, it's been Mitchell with Autonomous. Peace.